morning stampers this is Diane Cisneros and today I'm going to do Diane will teach me that this is the card I'm going to make and it's um, a technique called painters tape and I thought I'd try it out and show you how to do it this is the inside of the card and the stamp sets I use this is one set and it comes in two pieces it's thoughts and prayers I use the tree praying for you and then on the second on the inside I use this flower vine and praying for friends to comfort you, faith to uphold you, and loving memories to heal your heart. So uh, that's what I used. And uh, to start off, I'm going to use the uh, new in colors this year. This is crisp cantaloupe, and I cut it uh, eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter. Then on, uh, then we're going to. I'm just going to set that aside, and as we go, I'll tell you the sizes. I'm going to start with the vanilla because this will be the top. And I went out in the garage and got my husband's dirty old painter's tape. I was going to go buy some new and he said, oh no, I have tons of it out there. With all kinds of lint and hair and everything else. But uh, the colors I'm going to use are pistachio pudding, baker's, no, baked brown sugar and crisp cantaloupe. And I got that off of my uh, color coach. If you don't have a color coach, I don't know how you can stamp. I have to have it. Okay, so I am going to use my three in colors. Let's see. I better stamp up here so you can see. So I'm going to start with the baked brown sugar. I'm going to lay it right here or maybe up here. I'm going to cut a piece of tape long enough so that it'll fit totally across my pad. And the reason I want it to fit across my pad is so I don't have to get my fingers dirty, which I've already done. But anyway, you just rub your fingers across the middle. I'm going to go this way. You don't need to get into the edges. This is brown sugar. And I'm just going to lay it up here and rub in the middle. Don't get into the edges and pull it off. Throw it away. Okay, so then I'm going to set that one aside. I'm going to cut another piece. I'm going to open my cantaloupe crisp cantaloupe. I'm going to lay it across. Just touch the middle. Pull it up. Lay it down and just rub it in the middle. Take it off. Throw it away. Okay, so I'll put that one aside. Now I'm going to do pistachio pudding. Get my tape, lay it across, rub it in the center, I hope you can see that. I'm going to lay it right in the middle, rub the center, pull it off, throw it away. Okay, so then I have one more. I needed to fill up that space, so I'm going to do one more brown sugar and one more piece of tape. Lay it across, rub the center, pull it up. Oh, you want to grab both ends first and go across the bottom. Pull it up. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it this way, and then we're going to start stamping. I'm going to use Early Espresso and the tree from that stamp set. And I want to be careful not to press too hard. Make sure your stem, the stem of the tree is straight up and down. 
Most of my pressure is going on the tree so I don't get double down here. Then I'm going to take Praying For You and I'm going to use my uh, stamp a majig to make sure I have Praying For You straight. Slide it in there. Press. So that part's done. Okay, so now I'm going to do a little embellishing. And this is the Victoria Lace ribbon. I'm just going to take a piece off and I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to use, um, normally I would use my hot gun, but I don't have it here right now. So I'm just going to put a little bit, I would suggest the, the heat gun. The heat gun will allow this to stay forever. Okay. There. Okay, and then I'm going to get a couple of uh, glue dots, and I'm going to use these in-color embellishments. They're called Boutique Detail Buttons. I'm going to use a pistachio. Again, I would use the glue gun to make sure that stays. Then I've got some of our little dots and I'm going to use the um, early espresso and these stick pretty well this one uh, let's see I don't know I guess I'll go ahead and put it there they stick pretty well where am I okay these are very easy to put on So we've got three of those, and then I'm going to take some twine. No, it's called linen thread. I'm going to clip enough so that I can double it. And the reason I doubled it is so it shows up a little better. And I'm going to tie a knot. And Let the rope right down under, and then I'm going to tie. That's why I, I, I tried to cut quite a bit of ribbon, I mean thread, because I need it to make this bow. And it's not going to go. Okay. All right. Let's try it again. There it goes. Okay. So, let me get a, a glue dot and stick that down a little better. There. Okay, so I'm going to snip the ends. Let that hang over. I've got my three little brads. And now I'm going to put the car together. So this is my background, and um, this is the card we're making. Now I'm going to lay this vanilla on top of the baked brown sugar. The baked brown sugar, well, first of all, the vanilla is five by three and three quarters. The baked brown sugar is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. Just so it just shows a little bit. I didn't want it to take over. Then I did the pistachio, uh, five and a quarter by four. So 
So we're doing lots of pretty layers, and I love these in colors, soft. Okay, so now I'm going to fold my crisp cantaloupe on the score line. Go ahead and put this on. Now if you want to use dimensionals, you can go ahead and do that. now I want to do the inside of this card for you and let me I forgot to cut a piece of paper hang on I'm right there I'm gonna cut it by by three and three quarters I'm sorry and then I'm gonna take this off put this one on this is uh, the stamp that was in part two of the set. I'm going to use crisp cantaloupe lightly and I'm going to just stamp across the middle. Then I'm going to use uh, my early espresso again. Hope that that's dry. And then I'm going to use the, uh, the word stamp that I read to you with my Stampamajig. I've already stamped it so I know it's straight and now I'm going to take this stamp, put a little bit of espresso and go down. Voila. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to flip it over. And I like to put things, another sheet of paper on the inside. I think it gives it a nice finished look. OMG. And don't forget, use your hot glue gun for that. I'm going to come, go back and do that over. But I didn't have it plugged in, or I don't have a cord long enough with all the things I have plugged in already. So uh, this is Diane will teach you that, or teach me that. Painter's tape, the smaller one, um, just, just go get some, try it, uh, go ahead and type that in on Pinterest. Uh, it's, what is it, Painter's Tape Technique, and you'll see all kinds of cards that the girls have made. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll be seeing you soon.